hosted. Julie Donaldson Yay. is here. Thank you. I love joining you guys. Yeah, we love when you join us as well. Now, you know, in the old days, when football players suffered injuries, mm -hmm. you put some extra tape on it, mm -hmm. you smoked a cigarette, you take the edge off, you <laughs> drank a beer. I don't know about the cigarette part, but okay. <laughs> In the locker room, everybody had a heater or two, and you're like, all right, next week. <laughs> but things have evolved and changed in a, thankfully, a a more progressive yes. and safer way, yeah. and you actually got to experience some of that. You ever want to know what it's like to be 250 degrees below zero? Wow. Well, uh, Brian Mitchell and I actually got to experience that. It's a new cryotherapy, and it is helping players cut down the recovery time and keeping them on the field so they can get out there and try to gather more wins. The best way to explain it to someone who just walks in our doors would say it helps with inflammation because it was started for in a medical practice for inflammation in arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long am I staying here? Three minutes. Three minutes? I programmed it today for two and a half because it is a little aggressive. Just exhale that nitrogen vapor away from you. This is a stressor, cold is a stressor. So it's putting you in this state where it's fight or flight, right? So then now we're creating anti-inflammatory molecules to help fight the cold. I've had crazy stories told to me about sleeping better, people that were able to walk down the stairs finally for the first time in three years without holding onto the railings, or people that had mysterious pains that just dissipated from this. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready to get frozen? Yeah, let's do this. Let's freeze Brian. <laughs> Freezing Brian sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> Someone who has access to this should use it every day. Other people, even three times a week, two times a week, just adding it into your daily lifestyle. It's not a one-time thing and then you're done. It's really not. It's it's long term. It's for chronic issues. He probably wants a whole nother round going by. <laughs> the gloves right? are put. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Maybe you just put your robe back on. <laughs> it's fine. We go through gloves quick here. Maybe you this is why you're a legend. You're, <laughs> look at those paws. <laughs> the cryo is like the silent healer, is what I kind of say. Like, you don't leave here being like, I'm cured, like, but it, over time, you're like, wow, I really do notice a difference. So some people come for the cryotherapy in this, some people come for the sauna and the massage. I am sold on being frozen and squeezed, freeze and squeeze, <laughs> freeze and squeeze me every day. <laughs> Just like the cryotherapy, everyone reacts to this differently. Some people are so sensitive to touch, so I have to start with a lighter setting. If you wear heels a lot, like this right here is called per peroneal muscle. And then if I can loosen this on someone, it can change. I can have someone squat three inches deeper just by loosening this muscle along here. You're actually handling this really well. Oh no, I, I need to be like deeper. This is so relaxing. <laughs> Ready to go, coach. Put me in. Try it and then see. You just, if you don't know, like you come in with these like these fears that, oh, I hate it. I, this, I have someone that's 80 years old that does this. If I can change your life with this, it's worth it, right? I was I was feeling it after that. <laughs> you know, I will say for for being frozen at 250 degrees below zero, it wasn't oh. as painful as I kind of thought it would be or anticipated. And as you heard Brian, he was saying he wanted to do a whole nother round. I think he stayed in for a good three minutes and it replaces what would have been the ice tub. So in order okay. to get what would have been the three minutes of being in the cryotherapy, you'd have to be in the ice bath for about 45, 55 minutes. Ooh. So for athletes, this really can help cut down the recovery time for them. the things you had on your legs. Were cool. they were they squeezing? Yeah, your... it's like compression. It's so it kind of kept going, you know, squeezing in and out. And then those Theraguns are really amazing, too. They can just get down into the muscle and definitely pinpoint. So, you know, for me wearing heels all the time, that's why she had to do a lot of work on my calves. Hit those like trigger points and loosen <laughs> yeah. things up. So yeah. how much better did you feel after that for the you next know, day, 
or two. It, it really amazing because I had made sure that I did a really good leg workout before I went in there to be able to of see if we could actually did. get the benefits from yep. this, right? And you know, the thing is, is it's it's kind of like working out though. You can't just go one time. It's not a one time fix. It's something where you have to go back repeatedly, as she said, people to use it two, three, four, five times a week on a regular basis. That's the whole point of therapy, and that's the whole point of making sure that you can cut down the recovery time so you can get out there and stay active, stay healthy, stay in the game. You know, the Redskins, the players, they have access to this, so they're in there all the time making sure that they can, you know, cut down from 74 hours recovery to just 24. Jinx, she was so happy after this. It was like spa day Julie. I swear, I had yeah. like new legs. Cryo Julie yeah. is and my new favorite It's supposed to help Julie. you sleep better as well, really? help with anxiety, help with depression, so there's a lot of benefits to it. Oh, that's great. Um, but, I, you know, I, I'm going to have to go back to be able to testify for that. I think so. I'm going to have to check that out. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. BS, you do the old school, drink a beer, smoke a cigarette, and just relax. Travis, no, I, I I'm trying see. to recover from a night of smoking. I see Jinx. <laughs> I see Jinx in his bathroom with a tub and just pouring ice. Just pouring ice. I'll just, I'll just take a good soak. A couple <laughs> beers in there, <laughs> leftover. All right, coming up, the heavyweight fight between the Chiefs and the Rams on Monday night. But guess what? With that heavyweight class, that means money lines and spreads from Jenks and I with our boy Sammy P is what we call him out in Vegas. Thanks, Jules. DC Sports.